Hi friends. So today uh, the topic I am going to talk about is the extraordinary capabilities of an immortal spiritual being, which is an ISB, and comparing it with the uh, extraordinary claims made throughout the ages by yogis and mystics. So uh, we will get started. So first thing is. pretty much uh, not pretty much everything in existence has been created by these bees so things can't get more extraordinary than that so that is the first extraordinary thing it has happened so <laughs> now we will go into the individual claims so uh, the space craft operated by by these bees use uh, doll bodies uh, in much the same way the actor wears a mask and a costume it is like a mechanical tool through which to operate in the physical world uh, eril uh, as well as uh, all her, uh, all the other isbis of the officer class and their superiors inhabit these doll bodies when they are in duty in space uh, when they are not on duty they leave the body op- uh, operate communicate travel and exist without the use of the body so this this paragraph basically says that tell about the uh, nature of the operation of the is be like aerial what they do so the doll body is made up of uh, very synth- synthetic materials also it includes the very sensitive electrical nerve system because without the nerve system the is be can't see colors so they only created the frequency spectrum and with the help of this uh, nerve system they can see colors so uh, the each is be is attuned uh, in wavelength with the uh, the doll body the doll body uh, the bodies likewise are uh, attuned to the nerve system which is built into the craft so a uh, lot of attuning is going on here and uh, therefore this mechanism helps to operate the craft via thoughts so this is one of the external capability that is flying um, flying flying saucers uh with the help of just uh, mainly with the help of just the our thoughts our religion so that is extraordinary so uh the pilot of the craft must possess very high order of en- energy volition a uh, discipline training and uh, intelligence to manipulate such a craft and it requires a lot of expertise and uh, an artificial body is required uh, as already described so this is an extraordinary feet perform by is be so uh, this is one of them and uh, uh, what is an is be means is uh, an is be uh, exists in a personally postulated perception of is will be so each is be is unique in their identity power awareness and ability so each is be can uh, have their own experience and without a body means our experiences are not manipulated by the various mechanical processes of the brain so our experiences uh, uh, are completely under our control so that is the nature of an is be and uh, uh, the difference between an is be like erel and most of the is be's like us is uh, erel can enter and depart from our doll at will so this is called as uh, in tamil language it is called as koodu vittu koodu payirudhu so that means that moving from one physical object to another physical object transmigration so this is done uh, we have had a lot of stories in the native american uh, culture african aboriginal culture and also our indian uh, and in the indian culture regarding this phenomenon this phenomena of uh consciously exiting the body and again coming back to the body but the main thing which is important in this phenomenon is uh, you have to have consciousness uh, like you have in wakefulness uh, without a body so it, by default uh, this is impossible because we will normally become unconscious without the help of the brain and the body so um, the, this is not capable by uh, normal human beings so an uh, erel can perceive at selective depths through matter so this has also been claimed by a lot of um, indian mystics which we will talk about later and they can communicate telepathically uh, and uh, these is bees can span great distances of space instantly 
So this is another uh, one of those extraordinary capabilities of this being. And now coming to the one of the main cap capabilities is they experiences more in sensations more intensely than a biological body. So whatever the great pleasures you experience with the help of the biological body that is not not at all uh, comparable to the experiences one can have in full consciousness as an as an is being. So in ancient Indian traditions. Uh, our innermost they divide our body into sheets sheets so this is the physical body and the, there's a subtler body which acts as a framework for this physical body and the subtler body is divided into four so one of the and the innermost uh, body is the bliss body so bliss body means whenever we touch this body uh, we experience a lot of blissfulness so uh, uh, so that is what I said, without bi biological system, uh, the experiences we have is, uh, uh, experiences we have is, uh, uh, the sensations we have is extreme. So this is another extraordinary capability of an ISB. And they can exclude pain from their perception completely. And uh, they, uh, we only remember our current life memories but Errol can remember our life memories to from uh, all the way back to the dimness of time so this is all the capabilities of uh, uh, NSB so another thing which is described in this document is uh, they created uh, when, they, when the domain base was established in the Himalaya mountains uh, in 8200 years ago what they did is an electronic illusion of a mountain top was created uh, to hide the base projecting a false image from inside the mountain against the force screen. Then they could enter the ships uh, and exit through the force screen, that is teleportation. So teleporting ships uh, was done by them. And uh, uh, when the Archduke Ferdinand SB was taken to Mars, uh, what happened is after the Archduke Ferdinand SB escaped, what happened is Mm, a battle cruiser was uh, dispatched to the coordinates of the base provided by this officer. So that means that again, long distance a machine was sent from one XYZ coordinate to another XYZ coordinate. So this is a complete manipulation of matter by the creators of matter. So this is another external capability of an SB. So the life forms chapter is clearly self-evident the power of an SB. So what the what Errol says is. Uh, how can I explain the, uh, the trillion, millions of completely divergent uh, unrelated species of life and the source of spiritual emanation, animation which defines every living nature as a work of God because it is far too broad. So that's why she says that all Lisbys, a lot of Lisbys together combined, they formed uh, laboratories, they formed uh, industries to create the life forms which we see on this planet now. So it took a lot of uh, work and every ISB is a god, she again reiterates and she says that when they inhabit the physical object, they are the source of life. Uh, they, the ISB generates the life force or prana to animate any object it occupies. Not just this biological body, Eril also animates the, her object with the prana. And uh, uh, we have already discussed about the flying saucer manipulative manipulation capabilities of an ISB. So if at least uh, Earth is beast like us uh, regain at least 1% of our innate capabilities, it will completely change our perception completely. As uh, it is already mentioned that uh, the Earth is beast do not know what actually a capability of an ISB actually is. So now uh, what an ISB actually does. So ISB creates a space by imagining a location. Uh, is are the source of energy and illusion. Uh, is bees can create uh, space as I already said, place particles in space, create energy, shape particles into various forms, cause the motion of forms and animate forms. Any form that is animated by an is is called as life. Uh, an is can be located in uh, the illusions that they create by themselves. And uh, now coming to illusion, so whatever we, ima we imagine a beach or a forest and all, we create images, but this illusion, this is the base ability of an ISB, that is, it is powerful imagination, such a way that they create objects with uh, incessant uh, 
attention to every detail of the illusion to sustain the illusion so if that is not there then the illusion disappears so this is how initially uh, universes were created then only by improvisation by uh, use of skill they created the physical universe from it so uh, is bees uh, the back tack is back tack of time is immeasurable and now coming to all space as i said the most extraordinary is they created everything that includes uh, us also me uh, the viewers and the watching the youtube channel though it may sound incredible that's how uh, this document says mm, it's a uh, all the space galaxies suns physical phenomena phenomena the universe including light forms have been created by isbs and sustained by mutual agreement that all of these things exist so there are as many universes as there are isbs to imagine build and perceive them concurrently within each existing concurrently within its own continuum and each universe is created with its own set of rules so these are the extraordinary capabilities of an isb so now uh, we will discuss uh, and another extraordinary capability of an isb uh, at the end of the document is an isb can occupy more than one body uh, at the same time uh, so that is another uh, extraordinary capability so now uh, we will come to the extraordinary claims by made by uh, yogis and mystics uh, in our planet uh the eril already said uh, some of these bees know that they are spirit and know some of the capabilities so that includes the yogis and mystics of the age of the ages so i will start with uh, uh paramahamsa yogananda uh, who is one of the recent yogi <coughs> he said that he has claimed a lot of stuff and his meetings with other yogis so for example he said that a saint occupying more, more than one body there is two bodies that is similar to the roswell claim then levitating saint that is uh, f- uh, uh, flying the flying without the aid of technology uh, then uh, bilocation s- same uh, s- uh, being in the uh, two different places at the same time then again uh, as i discussed powerful imagination creating a palace a uh, uh, artificial palace then Uh, the limbs are cut apart but again they are fixed uh, that is done with the help of the subtle body so these are some of the extraordinary claims made by uh, paramahamsa yogananda there have been th- th- thousands of mystics throw they are just making extraordinary and extraordinary claims uh, some of some of them they actually did some of them are myths but still mm, we, we will list them so uh, one of the recent famous uh, uh, people who have claimed a lot of miraculous claims is satya sai baba so a uh, more very popular atheist named sam harris talks about uh, satya sai baba's miracles and why we should not believe in miracles unless they are very evident um, at the same time uh, to um, what to say uh, reduce the effect of the miracles of jesus so what uh, satya sai baba claimed is uh, wa- walking on water raising the dead Uh, flying without the aid of technology aid of technology uh, materializing objects reading minds foretelling the future these have been the claims of yogis and mystics throughout the ages and none of them none of those things currently are able, are being able to be proved by a lot of people so we have to be skeptical on that so another current uh, contemporary uh, uh, pop very popular guru named sadguru jaggi vasudev he has also claimed a lot of extraordinary claims for example he has said that uh, when somebody dies uh, especially his close disciples uh, he will decide in which room they are bo- which womb they are born so that is the capability he is claiming he has uh, then one time uh, he constructed a temple a lingam named dhyana linga so it is similar so it is like uh, creating a artificial soul something like that he created and uh, he said that when recovering from the effects of creating that linga uh, a disembodied snake came and uh, saved his life so he made some claims like this and uh, he has claimed that uh, he is able to during his childhood uh, normally we uh, just see the uh, objects in front of us but he was able to see a mountain view uh, which he set up in his past uh, which uh, had some rec- connection with his past life memories so he was able to see that Uh, and uh, 
he has claimed that he is able to predict the peop- uh, person's future as sam harris said we have to be skeptical and he is as i said in this document we have seen that uh, his bees can perceive a selective depth through matter that he has done in a style of two and uh, he has altered the uh, chemical properties of a mercury element and uh, he has also claimed reading minds is possible a uh, levitation is possible uh, becoming smaller big that is one of the ashta mahasiddhis mm, that is uh, uh, siddhis master mahasiddhis is uh, the extraordinary capabilities of uh, yogis of uh, south india their claims so the, that is one of them and then moving objects without physical contact uh, which we have already discussed in the rasol document uh, then creating a strong ima- with strong imagination creating a sim- similar place like physical uh, which he did before his cousin uh, then uh, he has claimed that water air and soil these things have had memory have memory uh, then he has cured asthma and fracture in one hour uh, so th- that is again an external capability so uh, then he has said remote remote viewing is possible Uh, prakaya pravesha which is parakaya pravesha which is as i said sh- shifting from one body to another to another animals is possible then he has uh, given the death of the soul to disembodied beings so even uh, domain itself haven't claimed the things like that but uh, he has claimed those things then he didn't touch us a rock and knows the entire history of a place uh, so these are the claims which he has uh, said and if you look at his past life uh there's a documentary in youtube also on his past life named sadguru shri brahma so he has made a lot of more extraordinary claims like making rain pour in a particular region of a town uh, disappearing in front of everybody uh, walking through a locked prison door uh, where the matter did not matter pun not intended so and uh, he has shaped shifted to a form of uh, jesus christ or some other form he make a boy walk on the lake teleporting out of a a locked box uh, joining together cut apart bones limbs and other organs uh, dematerializing the physical body completely so the, without a shred of it left behind so this is not only his claim uh, a saint named ramalinga adigal uh, cause called as balalar in south india has also claimed that he has dematerialized himself completely lot of saints throughout the ages have claimed in the buddhist tradition also have claimed this uh, claim this one so these are some of the extraordinary claims of contemporary yogis and mystics uh, which uh, if true um, uh, uh, which most likely is true uh, give an idea about what is the capability of an is be occupying uh, the homo sapien body so we will uh, uh, t- uh, talk about the field of parapsychology before ending this video so parapsychology is academy is not an, uh, accepted by uh, Uh, academics uh, but uh, it never all appears in mainstream scientific journals so it has been criticized for continuing investigation regarding psychic phenomena like telepathy telekinesis uh, clairvoyance a psychometry which i have said uh, knowing about touching an object and knowing about the history of it uh, another paranormal claims um, or psychic phenomena is called as so it has been criticized by Uh, for not providing convincing evidence for by for, for over 100 year research so this is one field which is usually stigmatized and if any alien comes and perform this stuff or at least the yogis and mystics who claim these things perform in the internet era a lot of stigma in this field can be solved so i request those yogis and mystics to come forward and perform these feats uh, 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 so which which will remove stigma from this field and also um, uh, completely transform the perception human beings have regarding what are the capabilities of a human so uh, these things can be done and uh, when i talk spoke about remote viewing remote viewing is changing the view from the face to some other xyz coordinate uh, we want uh, so this was done by the us military in cold war 2 as claimed by william tompkins uh, he has written a book how you were selected by extraterrestrials there an extraterrestrial secretary which uh, he had uh, during the apollo missions she claimed that she could dematerialize and teleport uh, and also a lot of external claims are there in those in the book too and there have been a lot of external claims made by a lot of credible people too so what i'm saying is uh, it needs evidence proper evidence 
in front of scientists and skeptics and i hope that uh, that could happen in the next in the century so this is the gist of what i wanted to talk about this topic regarding the external capabilities of an isb and uh, the external claims made by yogis and uh, you, uh, mystics throughout the ages so i will attach the samaris document uh, video to very uh, uh, very objects these miraculous claims and uh, level of skepticism is good it is not bad to have a level of good level of skepticism but at the same time i mean open minded that these things could be possible especially after uh, seeing the rasol document so uh, if you like this video please uh, like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel and uh, uh, i will post more videos regarding various topics and chapters uh, regarding the rasol document so um, wait for it and uh, thank you for watching thank you